It's the best of the Ron and Fez show right now on 106.7 WJFK. All right, we were promising an, uh, an update. Uh, let's get over exactly what happened last week when we did our big ass night of frights. Wonderful time. Everybody had a great time. And then uh, Billy got some bad news, Fuzzy. Right. Even Billy thought he had a good time at the big ass night of frights Halloween party. He took a date. They dressed together. Their costumes went together. Billy didn't find out till about 24 hours later that his date, his girl, had been unfaithful at the party, sucking face with another guy. And, Ronnie, not the first time it's happened with this particular girl, that Billy's taken her out and she's ended up in the arms of another. So that's pretty much it, pretty much it in a nutshell, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's everything's correct, too. Oh. What's going on? Well, I basically have uh, told her, forget it. No, it's over? Yeah. I said, you know, I feel, I, I said to her, I, I feel like you used me. So you yeah. did talk to her, huh? Yeah. When did you talk to her? Because this all happened Friday night on Saturday, the show. Saturday evening. Well, what did she use you for, that bed at the flop house you rented the other night? <laughs> hey, that was a nice room. <laughs> nice cot. <laughs> No, I just felt Wait, like how much the, room, was, the room was nice, but that flashing Y out front <laughs> kept uh, everyone awake. He expected uh, sex after two hots and a cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, so which shelter was this? It was a lovely establishment on East 39th Street. It was right. on the Bowery. <laughs> <laughs> it was above uh, CBGB's. <laughs> CBGB's is not renting rooms. Gentlemen, I'm a class act. I only go top shelf. Right, that's where they keep the liquor. That's where they keep the house brands. You're always climbing up on the top shelf. Right, Everything's so... well branded in your whole life. It's all well branded. <laughs> so, Billy, this time, he wanted to uh, entertain the lady all night long, went out of his own pocket and rented a hotel room in Manhattan that they could share. She did sleep there, but nothing happened, right? Uh, definitely nothing happened. I, I can guarantee that one. No uh, ass or grass, whatever your uh, little bumper sticker on the pit mobile says? Gas, grass, or ass, nobody rides for free. Well, she did. <laughs> she rode for free. Yep. All right, so what next for you? Oh, I'm back on, I'm back on the market, Ronnie. <laughs> what? I'm back on the market. Fish market. Staples is available now. Um, check your expiration date. I don't think you should be back in the market. I know there's a young girl out there just right for me somewhere. My little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. Well, she's All right. Be person. And so, so tell us exactly what you're looking for, Billy. <laughs> Let's hear about Billy's dream girl. Oh, I love red hair, green eyes, and breathing. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm really not picky. I am, uh, you know, I like them. You know, it doesn't matter any age group. Younger, better. Younger, the better. Obviously. You just described Julianne Moore, and I know you're not getting her. But uh, no, I mean, look, I just I like somebody who has fun and can appreciate me for what I am. And uh, you know, some <laughs> a drunk, a five-time loser, <laughs> somebody can have some fun. You know, no, I'm a five-letter man, actually. You know, I have a lot to offer. Yeah, that was 30 years ago. Yeah, well, you got five letters in high school at East Meadow High School. Yeah, very proud of them. You too, can't I'm even not. fit in the Letterman's jacket anymore. Quit bragging about it. No, well, I don't even have one anymore. But you know, the, the point right, is, I'm back instant, out there. On this, on the instant feedback is perfect. Woman. Hi, this is Lucille Ball writing from the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Billy seems perfect for me. I think the only redhead you're going to get is Danny Bonaduce at this point. You got to have a little more faith in me than that, Fest. Uh, I have faith that you're always going to fail. How's that? <laughs> the tide has to turn. So, there, have, there. have you and Inky sat down and discussed this? No, there's nothing to discuss, Ron. There's absolutely nothing to discuss. You I gave, made up my mind. You gave her the, uh, the uh, cold shoulder then, did you? Yeah, I, I don't, you know, like, uh, you happen to me once, fine. And, you know, do it to me again, God. Wow, did you murder that uh, saying? <laughs> oh. I don't even remember you being too happy about it the first time. No, I really wasn't. And uh, the problem was, it was just... He did it to me again, and that's uh, un unthinkable. You're not going to give her a third strike? Nope. Wow. What was her reaction? Oh, darn, I'm hungry and I need a place to sleep. 
No, she wanted to talk. I mean, I was on the computer. Well, what's wrong with you talking to her, Billy? Working it out. I'm angry. I mean, you know, Ron, you wouldn't give her. I, 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 she, Did you I ever, think she deserves a shot. I got her side of the story that night, and it seemed like a guy was, you know, being pushy with her. Ronnie, we saw the pictures. Like... Yeah. We saw the pictures. The pictures are incriminating. You don't lean back and have an utter look of ecstasy on your face. <laughs> Anytime I'm away from you, I do. I mean, my God, the guy in the bar got further than I did with her. Look and at he... any pictures of me when you're in the picture and when you're not. The beauty is she kept her honor with Billy. <laughs> she was a lady with you, that's for sure. And I treat her like one, too. All right. Um, somebody uh, says he refuses to talk to me. Do you know her screen name? Does it keep the wall wet? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> keep the what wet? She's the wall. Oh. I guess like sugar walls. <laughs> All right, anyway, she... Uh, she said that you were... I misunderstood you completely. I totally misunderstood. That's my fault. I don't... I'm a bad listener. All right, so Billy... Uh... All right, this is the answer feedback from Mecca. The only woman in Billy's life now is Bloody Mary. <laughs> Just you and Mary spending the night together. Me and you again, Mary. That's good. <laughs> Billy, you didn't have a relapse from this, did you? No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You didn't drink over the weekend? Nope. I'm an angel. <laughs> uh, Billy. Angel with the dirty glasses. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Billy, don't you think it's best, though, and, you know, and as part of the program, is that you want to bring everything to a close, to an ending? You don't want to run from your problems. You and her should sit down and talk. There's really nothing to talk about, Ronnie. There's not absolutely nothing uh, that she could say would make me change my mind. Yes, but that's not the point. The point is that you come, you get some kind of closure here. You've mm -hmm. been through enough programs to the know whole, how you should end things. The whole thing about being an alcoholic is that you're not dealing with the uncomfortable things. Well, I still do. I mean, I still have a uh, avoidance issue, you know. And you still have a drink. That's your problem. That's the only thing you don't have an avoidance issue with. Drinking. You never avoid it. Tom Waits has got a better understanding. <laughs> the arrows for drinking, not me. Billy? <laughs> Billy just spent the entire weekend listening to Tom Waits' music. All right, Dan from Hoboken says, doesn't the same Pauly girl have red hair? <laughs> Dan's been killing. <laughs> Dan <laughs> is on! <laughs> All right, so how are you going to deal with this, Billy? You're going to try computer dating again? I remember you were computer dating, right? Oh, God, what a disaster that was. Uh, I, I experimented with that Did a little bit. Did you ever get a chance to uh, to meet anybody? No, I never took it that far. I never I never followed up they on it. They made you have your picture in there, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. Well, no, that, that wasn't the problem. I just didn't uh, follow up because I didn't trust the, the people you were meeting. It's just like the pictures weren't up to my standards and stuff. Oh, what yeah. Standards? Yeah, like they wouldn't have gotten the short end of the deal when you showed up at the door. Why don't you do yourself this favor, Billy? You talk to Inky before you do anything else. A sit down, is that what you're saying? Yeah, sit down. You're, you're looking eye to eye, face to face. It would be better for your character. I would probably do it over the phone. I don't really know if I Face would. to face. No, oh, Ronnie, I don't think so. You know why, Fezzy? Why's that? I got 20 bucks. He's, he forgives her. If he does. He's going to melt when he sees her. He's going to melt like one of those many daiquiris he had over the weekend. <laughs> you'll, just, you'll just drip. No, well, that's probably why it wouldn't be a good idea then. Billy? Here's the thing. I agree with you. I think you should move on. But I think there's nothing wrong with saying it to the person's face. What about lobster claws? You get back with her. Because <laughs> didn't you say you wanted a woman with a red face and green teeth? <laughs> <laughs> That's her. Well, there's one relationship I totally forgot about. Wow. Now, uh, there's no uh, lobster claws in my future. It's the only way you're going to get any tail. But, you know, it just comes down to it's 
I don't think right, somebody deserves it. Let me say this. Thor writes in, is Billy's next year's costume a double palm hero? <laughs> Next year, he'll dress up as the hotel room that went unused. I just have to point this out to you, Billy, and I know that you're a uh, motel sex. You're strong enough to deal with it. You're a huge joke to a lot of people now because of not so much that she did this to you, but that you were wearing that stupid chicken parm outfit, and apparently all the people in the back knew it while they were looking at you. Well, that does not make me feel any better. Matter of fact... I just went right back to Friday right now with you just telling me that. I'm, I feel like I'm just... The fact that not only you were treated with like a fool, you look like a fool, I... and everyone pointed and laughed. F me writes, and I hope this doesn't mean that he starts running batches to the thought of the Ron and Fez girls again. You've done so many inappropriate things, you big drunk. So many. Well, you know, I can't help. I just... It's like having multiple migs on the phones. They walk through the green room to try to get in here. Someone... <laughs> They catch a handful on the side of the head from multiple MIG staples. Sweet Melissa, what did Billy say to you? I couldn't hear it myself. I want you to say it. Billy! Billy, uh, would you like somebody to talk to? Yeah, I guess it would depend on who it is. It's the Horde King. Oh. He's always, a wise. Always welcome the Horde King's marital and love advice. Hey, guys. You get plenty of it, don't you, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Your Majesty. I have to tell you guys, firstly, that that was a wonderful event we had on uh, Thursday night. It was Did you have a great time? It was great Absolutely. to see you out there, my friend. Absolutely. Uh, Billy, I just uh, want to suggest one thing to you, that... Uh, this discussion really should be held, like Ron is saying, directly with uh, Ink Girl in private as opposed to on the air. Um, once you have a resolution there, uh, you know, and if you want to discuss it in public, that's fine. But while things are still up in the air, I think it's better to talk about it privately. What's up in the air? Well, you, you have said that you're not uh, taking her back, that you're not interested in pursuing the relationship. And at the same time, um, there are different types of relationships. There's a romantic relationship. There's a friendship relationship. Unless you're saying that you're absolutely cutting off all ties. There's half a hotel room relationship. <laughs> yeah, at best, you guys are really pals anyway so far. No, it's never really gotten romantic, so why be mad at her as, uh, as a pal? Because of doing what she did to me not once but twice and now making me a, a jackass, a fool. No, you are already a jackass. No, no, Let's no, be no, fair. no, no. She Billy, made me I'm, a bigger I'm jackass, not... I believe. Billy, I'm not... <laughs> I know, it's hard to argue with, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> making Everest a bigger mountain. <laughs> Billy, I'm, I, I'm not going to argue or attempt to justify what she did or what she didn't do. That's, that's uh, known to her and to whoever saw it. Um, I didn't see it personally. I can't comment on Nor it. Nor did I. The only thing that I, I can I tell you is that there have been times in the past where you've made some mistakes, perhaps based on Funny. prior drinking or perhaps based upon uh, while going out with one person or... The DUI's pursuing. alone. Yeah, well, you know, and remember DUIs when you... might be construed to be a big mistake. And when you uh, felt up your uh, friend's uh, sister when, you were, when she was no, drunk? No, you were no. supposed to take her home? And we didn't mean that way. Yeah, but I, <laughs> we didn't mean to round third when we said that. Right, exactly. Good one, Hart King. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, we don't need to do a laundry list of my... Uh... Oh, we have time. <laughs> <laughs> but let no, me... The, the, point, the let... point is, Billy, that people do make mistakes, and people do uh, have a lot of things which they do regret later, as I'm sure you yourself have encountered. Mm -hmm. And rather than just summarily dismiss the relationship... But didn't I already do that once? Well... It de again, it depends what kind of relationship you're pursuing. Well, right now I don't have an interest in any type of relationship. Um, I'm angry, I'm hurt, and uh, that's plain. Th those well, are perfectly valid emotions to have. I don't mean to be too blunt here, but are you saying that you're not even friends with Inky anymore? Not right now. I don't feel it. Well, you're not going to get any closer doing your little hiding act. Well, I have no desire right now to pursue it any, to get any closer. He's hiding like the phone bills do again. <laughs> well, was your desire to pursue her in the first, uh, in the first 
instance only based upon the desire for a romantic relationship? If that was the case, it would have been over a long time ago. So then really, what has changed? <laughs> Nothing's changed. You're still getting as much as ever. It's not all about sex. Hoy King, I don't know. It's not all about sex, but it's been it's it's you know respecting respecting me and not doing stuff like that again in front of me and making me look like a total tool. Well, if it was in front of you, then you wouldn't time. have had this the whole problem, would right. you? Right. The, the whole problem, well, at, at least a good portion of the problem was due that it was uh, it happened when no one really saw it. Uh, oh, plenty of people saw it. People we saw got it. pictures. You didn't see it. They're my new Christmas cards. I, I didn't see the pictures. I can't comment on what happened or what didn't happen. Well, I'm, trust me, uh, Hoyt King, I saw the pictures. I received a ton of IMs after the show Friday from people who I trust and have not. Name one. Martian. <laughs> Martian. Oh. Travis Bickle. Oh, I you trust Martian and Travis Bickle. All right, someone without a record. <laughs> well, the joy of your peers, that's for sure. <laughs> Well, Billy wants to be judged by a jury of his beers. <laughs> well, if you're going to get the jury of your beers, you hope to make it a duff. Oh, Simpsons. Okay, going fine, back yeah. to the Simpsons. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, they so, can't all be judged. No. Good call back. <laughs> Apparently just one. All right. Well, I think what it really comes down to is if you're going to be a duff, Billy, you should sit down and talk with her. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I probably will it's when it's I it's feel... Good. A little better about this whole thing. I'm I'm a little angry right now, and I don't like dealing you're, you're with things in anger. You're completely justified to feel angry, but I think that <clears throat> for now you have to let yourself cool off a little bit. And I'm not saying that you should jump back and decide to pursue a relationship that may or may not be what you want to do. Yeah, do it face to face. Don't do it with that email, save the walls thing or whatever it is she's got. Should, face to should, face. Yeah, definitely talk to her and uh, resolve the differences privately and then talk about it publicly if you so desire. If See, I Billy, desire. I, totally, I disagree with that. I uh -oh. think you shouldn't talk to her whatsoever. I don't think you should be friends with her either because what if she's one of your friends and she stabs you in the back the same way she's done twice to you? Oh, uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, the way you Why should... are you so angry? It did not happen to you. No, he's just because, because I don't like seeing one of my bros get uh, attacked twice Jeez. by a girl. Rory actually called me just to see if I was doing okay this weekend. Rory did? <laughs> oh, will we? <laughs> Hard King, yes. is the smartest move for Billy right now to put a gun in his mouth and pull the trigger? I vote yes. Smart move. I second it. Ever? Oh, what please. about Kurt Cobain? Not for Kurt Cobain. Oh, okay. Although, uh, dying with dignity is something I, I really, really support. That's too late for Billy there. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't live with that, you're not going to want to die with it. If he was still born, he still wouldn't die with dignity. <laughs> That's on call for. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Honey, Billy. I'm hurting, and you're calling me a stillborn fetus here. I'm saying you couldn't yes. have died with dignity then. Yes. Billy, I don't think anyone is saying that you don't have every right to feel hurt. And I don't think anyone is saying you should jump back into a relationship if you don't think that that's the right thing for you to do. No, we're just saying jump off a bridge. I'm saying just to give it some time for you to cool off. And if you want to talk to her, then talk to her then. Or you should talk. Billy, to her. I don't think that's a good idea. Ever? Well, maybe if uh, the Parker's baby breaks the leg. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. Stick to the mental health. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, George King. Thank, Thank you, you Your Majesty. Uh, see, that Thank helped a lot, uh, Billy. Oh, yeah, just confirmed what I wanted to do all along anyway. Which wait, till I, wait till I calm down, and then I'll deal with it. So take basically... her back. Wait till you calm down, and then take her back. When you calm down, that's when you get wishy-washy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's bending. I love it. You're bending. No, I'm not bending. I'm just, I'm on, Ronnie, I, I'm, I'm looking for an, a, a new uh, Drug. A new girl. You're looking for a <laughs> You're not going to get a new girl. Well, you know what? Then having no girl is better than being uh, than having this happen to me again. You want a boy? No. No. <laughs> well, he had to pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he stopped and he thought about it. He actually went, hmm, boys. We'll be right back. You listen to the Ron and Fez show.